Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Lyons, creator of Navigating Autism and Eat to Heal Autism. And this week's Ask Dr. Lyons question is, how does COVID-19 impact those with intellectual and developmental disabilities? The world is starting to open up and many parents are asking me the question of, should I send my child back to school or not? So I wanna give you scientific information so that you can base your decision on quality information. There is published research from May, 2020, and they compare COVID-19 trends among people with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities. So this is what the researchers did. They got electronic medical health records from 42 different healthcare organizations throughout the United States. They got this data for 30,282 patients who met the COVID-19 inclusion criteria. And in that 30,000, there were 474 patients with intellectual and developmental disability. And the breakdown of the IDD was 33% had intellectual disability, 56% had a pervasive and specific developmental disorder, 18% had cerebral palsy, and 21% had chromosomal abnormality. Autism wasn't included as a specific diagnosis that they were tracking. However, many people with IDD have autism as well or any of these other diagnoses. So this is how it's relevant to the decisions we're making as parents to children with autism because that might not be their only diagnosis. So the researchers looked at these electronic medical health records and started to analyze fatality associated with different diagnoses. So the conclusions were that there are distinct age-related differences in COVID-19 fatality trends among those with IDD. So in the age group of zero to 17, those with diagnosed IDD, the fatality rate was 1.6%, whereas without IDD, you can see the fatality rate is extremely low. This is really important information to have when trying to make that decision, should your child go back to school? There are parents who don't have to be concerned that much with fatality from COVID-19 when you look at this type of data. However, if your child does have a diagnosis of IDD or other health issues, it's really important to take this information to heart when you're making that decision. Should they go back to school? Should they go to a camp? Should they be on the bus? All of these types of questions, it's important to have quality information. So for those in the age group of 18 to 74, you can see with IDD, the case fatality trend was 4.5%. However, without an IDD diagnosis, the percentage was 2.7. And this is where there is no difference. So 75 plus, the data is basically the same. Comorbidities. Comorbidities is an important discussion to have in general outside of the whole scope of COVID. But obviously with this new virus that's around, comorbidities make health much more important. So the results from the study confirmed that people with IDD have higher prevalence of comorbid risk factors. So things like hypertension, heart disease, respiratory disease, diabetes, and that is often associated with poor COVID-19 outcomes. Comorbidities are important to address, especially in regards to reopening post COVID-19. So these are the kinds of things that you want to work with your functional medicine doctor. All of these types of comorbidities. There's so much about autism or IDDs that get written off as, oh, you know, that's just something that your child is just going to have because they have autism. No, not at all. Comorbidities deserve its own treatment. And you could see how important it is for overall health that comorbidities are addressed because it's not a result of the IDD, it's not a result of autism, and the child doesn't have to go through life with these comorbidities. So regardless of whether COVID-19 or not, this is important to address with your functional medicine doctor. Quality information is absolutely imperative when you're making decisions for your child. And you could see that it's important to note that case fatality rates in this study were similar for people with and without IDD when you don't account for age. But it's very 
different when you actually account for age. And so when you want to make a decision for your child, whether they're 17 or below or whether they're a young adult themselves, it's important to have quality information because I know there were some reports in various mainstream media that said, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's no difference if someone has an IDD or not. The COVID uh, fatality is the same. And it's not because when you break that information down to age, that's where you need the information to make that quality decision that's going to affect your child's life. The research concludes with this sentence, though of concern for all individuals, COVID-19 appears to present a greater risk to people with IDD, especially at younger ages. And here's the reference in case you want to do your own reading.